hey Lauren, what should I do if someone's sitting in my pew? That's a great question, Lauren. Smile and greet the intruders. Remember, they might be from a different service than you. So don't assume they aren't regular worshipers or members. When in doubt, you can always say, I don't know if we've met before. My name is Ryer. My name is Eleanor. <laughs> and view this intruder as an opportunity to change perspectives. Whatever you do, don't ask them to move. Take this opportunity to view the sanctuary from a different spot. If you can, if you can tell your new friends are still uncomfortable, invite them to coffee hour or get to know them better. That's okay, meeting new people can be scary. If you're nervous, wait until the sharing of peace to greet them. Shake their hand and introduce yourself. <laughs> You can also find a new friend and introduce the both of you to the unknown person once the worship is over. Yeah, if there's time, if it's their first time, hooray! You get to be their first new friend here. Ask how they heard about Ezekiel. If they have young people in their family, consider introducing them to Marcy or Allison if they aren't busy. Or remind them to fill out the red attendance booklet with their contact information so we can reach out to them again. And if you feel comfortable, invite them to sit with you next week. What should you do if you don't know a song we're singing? Follow the cantor praise band. Follow along the screen or the red hymnal. If you've never used a hymnal before, use the bolded number in the upper left hand or right hand corner. Avoid zoning out by looking around the sanctuary. If you're not confident, wait and listen for the melody. If you are confident, sing loud enough to support others. Maybe even consider adding a harmony. If all else fails, focus on the lyrics and think if the song is focusing on confession, prayer, praise, or another purpose. People can go to the playroom, out to the fellowship hall, or the playground with their children during the service. We have different fidgets people of all ages can take back to their pews to use during service. We know the parade ground is going to be used more during the summer and it's not moving, so consider sitting on the left side of the sanctuary. Take this as an opportunity to meet a family with young people you don't know yet. Make silly faces at the crying child. If you see a parent struggling and you know them, ask if you can hold or, or even better yet, go and sit with them. And lastly, remember in Matthew 19, 14, Jesus tells us, Let the children come to me. And do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs.